Generally, the age of consent in New South Wales is 16 years. This means that a person over 16 years old can usually freely consent to sexual intercourse. However, there are exceptions. And these exceptions include where a child between 16 and 18 years old is in a person's special care. Section 73 of the New South Wales Crimes Act says that such a person cannot consent to sexual intercourse. The maximum penalty for sexual intercourse between 16 and 18 in special care is eight years imprisonment if the person is 16 to 17 years old, or four years imprisonment if they are over below 18 years old. It is what's called a strictly indictable offence. And this means that it must be decided in a higher court, such as the district court. It cannot be decided in the local court. To be found guilty, the prosecution must prove three things beyond reasonable doubt. The first is that you had sexual intercourse with another person. The second is that the person was over 16 and below 18 years old at the time of the incident. And the third is that you're in a position of special care in relation to that person. In relation to element one, sexual intercourse with a person, we have a video on this website called Definition of Sexual Intercourse. In relation to element two, that the person was aged over 16 and below 18, to be guilty, you must have what's called knowledge of age. That means the prosecution must prove beyond reasonable doubt that you knew the other person was under the age of 18 or that you were reckless as to whether or not the other person was under the age of 18 or that you had no reasonable grounds for believing that the other person was under the age of 18. The third element is that you were in a position of special care in respect of the other person. That is, that you were A, a step-parent, guardian or foster parent or the de facto partner of a parent, guardian or foster parent of the complainants or the other person or that you were B, a school teacher of the other person or C, that you had an established personal relationship with the other person in connection with the provision of religious, sporting, musical or other instruction to the other person or D, you were a custodial officer of an institution of which the complainant is an inmate. Or E, you were a health care professional of the other person. The exception to the rule is if you are married to the other person, the complainant. If you are guilty of the offence, the sentencing statistics for the charge of between 16 and 17 years of age are that 62% received what's called a suspended prison sentence. This is essentially a good behaviour bond which would likely lead to a prison sentence if it were to be breached. 38% received a prison sentence and the average prison sentence was a three and a half year full term with an 18 month non-parole period. The non-parole period is the period that a person is required to spend in jail before they can apply to get out of jail. For the offence of between 17 to 18 years of age, there were only two recorded cases, one of which obtained a good behaviour bond and the other of which obtained a prison sentence of a 12-month full term and a 6-month non-parole period.